Delaware County, which is the majority of my district, after Lake County and St. Joseph County, is the county that lose, is going to be losing the most in terms of, of their levy and their budgets in our local government and our schools of any county in the state. We've lost, um, cut back on the number of um, middle schools and certainly on the number of, of uh, elementary schools in the Muncie school system. So our school system has been adjusting downward over the years to uh, cope with the loss in students. But when I look at the, the budget proposal that passed out of the Appropriations Committee and the one that Senator Broden has proposed, with the Appropriations Committee budget, I see Muncie Community Schools losing over a million seven hundred thousand dollars. With the one that uh, Senator Broden has proposed, it's, they're still losing, but it's a more manageable amount, two hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars. So uh, there's no question to me that what will benefit my school system that's in a struggling community, and it is struggling to come to terms with where we're at, that we need to be more gradual than losing a million seven in two years. You may be wondering, why do I keep harping on GED on TV? Well, part of it is because Although it's a statewide program, it's run out of the Adult Education Center in Muncie. So I know more about it than uh, perhaps most of the people in the, uh, of the senators here. The GED on TV is a virtual learning experience. And it's a cheap virtual learning experience. The state doesn't have to buy a computer for these people. The state doesn't have to pay for their connection to the web. They've all got their own TV that they have paid for themselves. It costs approximately $500 a student for this program. And we heard Senator Kenley talk a little earlier about the, uh, about the cost of uh, of daily, uh, the per student costs in the public schools. And it was a lot more than $500 per student. They also have a successful track record in getting their students to the point where they're passing the GED. 88% of them pass the GED. So Senator Hirschman, I'm not sure where the study you uh, cited came from because that's not what I'm hearing. The other thing that I wanted to speak to was, as I said, was the film industry tax credit. Ball State University has a very good record of producing training and graduating students for the entertainment industry. Most of us don't know, and I didn't know, until recently that Ball State University students have been winning Oscars for their student production. And two of Ball State's um, students have won those, those highest uh, awards from the Motion Picture Academy. Uh, Ball State students have also won Emmys, a number of Emmys for their productions. Uh, just this uh, past uh, month or two, um, a full-length um, commercial film had its screening in Muncie that was done by Ball State students. Now, why am I focusing on Ball State? It's because we're producing the workers that we, uh, we talk about the brain drain. These are people who could be staying right in Indiana and working. And I think that this uh, film credit 
will help make that happen. It will make Indiana a more attractive place for the film industry to invest their dollars.